gosh. Oh! 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 Well, surprise! I know that this was unexpected. I was supposed to do Scary Movie because that's what won the poll. But unfortunately, I was not feeling the movie. Um, I sat here, recorded 30 minutes, and I just wasn't into it. It was funny the first couple of minutes of the movie, but I realized it's one of those... This is how I feel, one of the stupid comedy type of films, and that's not something that I'm really into. So when I was, I don't know if this was before or after I recorded uh, the finale to the second season of The Legend of Vox Machina, you can click up here to view my reactions to that series or the description box. This popped up on Amazon Prime, Halloween Ends, and I did watch the second film Halloween Kills you can again click up here or I'll put the links in the description box and I really liked it I mean it wasn't a hundred percent like the best but it was just entertaining to watch now I did react to the trailer I don't know if you guys want to check that out before you see my reaction to this movie and I think the trailer I think I said it looked okay but I heard through the grapevine that a lot of people did not like how this whole franchise because this is supposed to be it like no more michael myers after this a lot of people didn't like the way it didn't like how they concluded everything i'm gonna still go into it with an open mind i know in halloween kills the way it ended because it's been a minute since i watched that film i know that michael killed uh Lori stroh's daughter so this is currently at the time of this recording i am watching it on amazon prime and i find it weird that they have this on prime but they have the second film on HBO Max and then I don't know where they have the first Halloween, the 2018. I don't know, the, these streaming services is weird on which films they like to like have on their platforms. But before I get into it, what am I eating? I am treating myself to this chicken quesadilla. I don't know if you can see it, like from my favorite restaurant, it's so good. I've been doing pretty well, pretty good with having or cutting out meat and I decided to treat myself. Again, Rome wasn't built in a day. It's not like I'm going to cut out meat cold turkey, but I'm going to gradually build to it. And then I'm going to drink this Hawaiian smoothie from the restaurant. Like, it is so good. And then, of course, drink some water to, like, wash everything down. But without further ado, let's get into the 2022 film Halloween Ends. The kid there is nothing you can do about it. Oh, this is so good. This doesn't even seem like a Halloween movie already. The fact they open it up like this. You're saving money to see your here! Sometimes a part of me wants to babysit for like a rich family because I know Jeremy! they pay well. That staircase remind me from Jumanji. <laughs> if I wasn't talking, that still wouldn't have gotten me. That sounds like a threat. It's Halloween. We're gonna have a good time tonight. I'm sure you guys are. That movie, I still to this day have never finished it. You're scared. It's gonna get you. He's not gonna get me. Michael Myers kills babysitters, not kids. Ooh! <laughs> I would have been like, you right about that. Okay, stop showing it. And I don't really feel like pretending to be best friends with an ugly ass. Um, who are you talking to like that? Ooh, kids these days. They need to be raised how me and my generation was raised because these kids are acting out. I'll be seeing videos of kids like hitting teachers and stuff. Mm -mm -mm. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Everybody talking about how bad kids is. You know it's bad. But see, you can't say kids bad. I said, F these are bad. I will f a kid up. Don't get mad at me. I'm just saying what you can't say. If, if you're grown enough to talk back, you're grown enough to get up. Jeremy. And then it's going to come back to this shot and the knife is going to be gone. Jeremy? 
That little boy better not be playing a prank. Y'all remember in the um, 2018 version, the little black boy? Well, Michael popped up in, um, on that babysitter. And he was like, oh, <laughs> and he was out. That was funny. for some reason. I don't know. I was just about to say just she know he killed her daughter. It has been four years. She don't have a slight limp. From what I saw, she fell down the stairs and her leg went the other way. Ouch. Oh, damn. No. <laughs> No, she she wasn't ready. Ah! Oh, that looks so real. Wouldn't y'all be more scared of him if he killed a kid? Yo, I would have uppercutted him so fast. Get the heck out of my face. I'm the, you can back up a little bit. Oh wow. Oh, okay, start throwing hands. Are you serious? Ooh. You won't let some high school seniors beat you up? You getting roasted by the marching man? Come on. Thank you, Lori. Yep. That's what they get. This gentleman had an accident. And Yo, don't tell me she likes him already. He kind of looks like that actor right. from the Texas yeah, Chainsaw Massacre, the, the one with Jessica Biel in it. I got a motorcycle. Oh, a motorcycle. Teach me to ride it. I could teach you how to ride <coughs> no, it. Let me stop. Yeah, sure. The behavior that you exhibited was whore like. The whore jumped out and then it jumped back in. Who's that calling you under the dinner table? Mm -hmm. Who's that person you're texting? None of your business. Damn. Okay. Already, in a way, I can see why people don't like it because why are we focusing on this Corey guy? Okay, so. Whoa, he right behind her, like, okay, let me. Oh! Person. I I don't she didn't necessarily provoke Michael, but it was like she just seemed like she wanted him to get out. She had nothing to do with some crazy ass man going around killing people. That's not her fault. Many unbearable hours later. Where is Michael Myers at? How long have we been into the movie? 31 minutes, y'all. And he still didn't show up. I don't understand how. Okay, you established early in the film that it's been years since the first two films. The viewer's gonna want to know, okay, what's been, what's Michael been doing this whole time? But instead, it's like, nope, let's focus on this whole new character. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Oh, no. Oh, no. That's the mom, isn't it? And is she still wearing the same Halloween costume from years ago? 
You left her! I don't know what was happening Ooh. in there. I, I was just trying, I was just Why are you crying? <laughs> oh Lord, okay. Already I know what I'm gonna rank this film. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's just one thing after another. Thank you. Okay, Corey, start swinging. They try to jump you? They are trying. You make sure that your ass go against the wall and do the windmill on it. That's what I'm saying. You joking around with someone y'all keep calling a kid killer. If you feel like he really killed a kid, why would you mess with someone like that? Why you acting so f surprised? What do you think? Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, What's the procedure everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. I don't understand people who act like that, and then you act all surprised when something bad happens. Oh my god! Oh my blood pressure! Y'all be teasing. Y'all be picking on people, and then you do something and you act like. Oh my gosh. Y'all act like nothing's gonna happen. Like y'all pulled up on him to do something to him. But then y'all act surprised if he were to get really hurt or if he died. Meanwhile. What the heck, Michael? So you brought him down there just to choke him out? You can gaze into the future, future. <laughs> That's what I thought of. <laughs> Wait, what was that? So Michael looked into his eyes? Or was Corey looking into his eyes and it brought back the memory of the kid? I really don't get this movie. Okay, at this point, I want the movie to end. This is bad. Who greenlit this? I knew he was sitting right behind her. This town turned against him after the accident with Jeremy Allen. But because your boogeyman disappeared, they needed a new one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wait for the review. When is it gonna end? You need, Allison, you need to ask her, what do you mean by burn it to the ground? Like, you mean literally set a match and just, poof, or like, what do you mean just, mm -mm. and then all of it, this is weird. Like, oh, I'm so frustrated with this movie already. Like, you just all of a sudden, Allison, Allison, for what you went through, you were, <laughs> this is so random. Oh, you gonna give up the good, sis? You know what she ain't even sis. Allison, you gonna give your cookie up like that? You just met him like two days ago. This is your man. Yes. Look at the screen. <laughs> that's mine. And, and, I, and, and I'm that's, gonna stick beside him. And that's what you're gonna settle for. I'm gonna stick beside him. So, what? Corey and Michael Myers are a team now. Michael's like, I'm tired. I'm old. He did get like shot in the last movie a few times. Michael's like, all right, this is how you do it. You take a good old butcher knife. I don't like seeing Michael like this. This ain't even Michael. Who is this? <laughs> Michael, are you good? He was like, yeah <laughs> that's what it looked like he's like oh i missed this feeling okay Ooh. okay he, he dead now he good so michael what was it about corey that oh gosh this movie i don't understand i don't understand i don't understand i don't Not in this house. No, we not doing that in this house. Not on 
on my watch. Lori, if I was... <gasps> Oh, he's out breathing the fresh air again. I'm about to frolic. Oh my god! I'm frolicking! Oh! Oh, that's Corey! So, Corey all of a sudden is a full time killer now. Dang, Michael is still strong. Michael's like, are you watching this? This is how it's done. Going old school. If he stabs her in, and then leaves it in there, that's one of his famous moves. Nail it. Nail him. Nail him. I don't know. I was trying to come up with something catchy. <laughs> okay. Let's get getting weird. She has no intuition at all because immediately I would have felt like something was wrong with him from the back. I wouldn't even want to be with someone even if it was an accident. Like, I find out you, you pushed the kid down the stairs and it was an accident, they died or something. I'm not going to want to be with you anyway. I know it, you could be super duper innocent, but still, no, no. Y'all know the Lois Troll story? She teased the man with brain damage and then he snapped. And once Willie get here, it's like your favorite song stuck in your head. <laughs> mm mm. Well, next victim on the list. I'll get the hell up off my property for Corey's like, all right, I got something for you. You're right. Let's do it. I don't want to be in Hannah Field anymore. Oh, okay. I thought she meant like she was down with. But I would have thought she would have wanted to leave Haddonfield after everything, after her mom died, and Lori too. The, the high blood pressure thing what is going on in this movie sir you need to check your wife what is going on with her she needs to be taken to a doctor make sure everything's okay her blood work like something's not right with his mom you're sleeping in the same spot that boy died he's sleeping literally right on that spot boy am i a bad person Yes. <laughs> you brought me in. You were fighting. She didn't know you was going to turn out to be a crazy I'm ass blind. dude. Why is everyone blamed? Okay, we can talk about it later. I need to write down the stuff I, I was, I'm going to talk about because it's going to be a lot. What is this? Fight that. Fight that. Corey pulled up on the Michael Myers and snatched his mask off his face michael michael I, I need you to get up come on thank you now get your mask back he's like i know this boy did not just take my mask allison is giving me very much like a codependent girl right now why did you say see the same thing in him that i saw in michael Michael Myers is who you are. Exactly how she was in the first Halloween film and they didn't believe her and what happened. Michael, Michael, I was gonna say Michael Jackson. Michael Myers actually pulled up. I need to get out of here before this town kills them. One person actually makes me feel something. You just met him like a week ago. Don't talk about her man, honey. It's my man. Everybody talking about my man, my man. My friends are dead. My parents are dead. You're the one that's capable of fucking her. First of all, it wasn't even her fault. It was those two reporters at the beginning of the film that came to interview him and they brought him his mask. That They were the ones that really agitated or initiated everything, not Lori. And remember, they are marching band kids. Marching them, not the football team, not the basketball team, not even the hockey or lacrosse team, a marching band. How silly can this be? Run her ass over, yup. I'm so, like, I'm not saying, like, bullies deserve to be, like, off, but y'all deserve your karma. 
Y'all picking on somebody for so long, don't be surprised when they actually start fighting back. Oh, she's still alive? Oh, wow. You gonna shoot the dude. I don't like how the kills in this are kind of predictable. 12 seconds later. Oh, ooh, in the mouth. I mean, he was all talk and no bite. Okay, I don't think it's that easy to just smash someone's head in like that. Like a... <laughs> I think it's gonna take maybe like a full like five stomps. I mean, I'm not knowledgeable in that, but... But honestly, they kind of deserve their karma. I'm gonna say their karma. I do not like how they did this film. This is bad. Oh, I love her top. I will wear that top. Oh gosh. Oh! <laughs> he was talking about his mouth and how like did he say how it's like a song you can't stop listening to? It's like on repeat. Mm -mm. Two thousand years later. That's how I feel about this movie, a big snooze fest. <laughs> it's a fake out. Did you really think I'd kill myself? And then the real Michaels gonna show up and she gonna be like, oh shoot! Surprise, mother How are you even moving? You're like Idris Elba and Beast. And it's funny how he fell down the steps. Oh no! Why would you even touch it? Touch the knife. Um, Allison, you don't see the Michael mask on the floor? He's like, you try to beat me, but you can't beat me. Oh! Oh! Oh, he gonna do her with it? Oh! Ah! Do it again! He got shot like three times in the last film. Don't try to like do a little. Oh! Little crucifixion. Oh my gosh. Go for the head. The neck. Do something. Lori, come on, finish it. She taking her sweet time. If this, if I was in her situation and it's been like 40, 50 years, I'm not doing it slow. Oh my gosh. They always want to take their time. Take off the mask because I think in one of the Halloween films, she killed the wrong person. She thought it was Michael. I have tried to forgive you. Don't show his face. I like that we don't see his face. Please don't. You're just... Is about to stop breathing. This is what happens when you doing all that damn talking. You still got the knife in your hand. Cut his cut his hand off. Do what? There's nothing left for me. Ooh. What the Oh, damn. Y'all putting on a show for this? What time? What? Come on, end the movie. End it, please, please, please. Oh, that's the little boy from um, the 2018 Halloween movie. Oh, shit. Oh, they did Michael dirty. Ah. Okay, he, he for sure. 
Definitely. He he's dead. <laughs> The shape. <laughs> no, because that's what uh, they call Michael Myers, the shape. Oh, I made it through it. <laughs> All right. So I know some of you guys are going to like click out. So just, ow, I don't know if you heard that bone pop. Um, Give this video a thumbs up before you go. Okay, my thoughts. Double thumbs down out of five stars. I'm being very gracious with this one, okay? Um, a one out of five stars. Okay, this may be a long review. I will appreciate it so much if you stayed um, to hear my thoughts on it. And also comment down below the hidden emoji that I placed somewhere throughout my reaction. If you're going to end one of the most famous, f famous, one of the most well-known in pop culture and horror icons he is like what i said in the um in my who was the king of horror series michael myers is the king of horror if you're gonna end his story his franchise you gotta go out with a bang but instead you replaced him with this new character corey and have him try to be like the new michael try to take on his character it doesn't make sense to all the writers the screenwriters of this film i think it was like four people shame on y'all shame on you guys for doing this to michael myers and how you decided to end the franchise with this terrible film i f i feel so bad for those who worked on the film who acted in it the editors because Y'all really wasted your time on a work of cinema that was just, it It was a waste of everybody's time for it to be received, at least for me. And I, of course I heard from other people, but now I understand why everybody, a lot of people, I don't want to say everybody, a lot of people were upset with how this film turned out. I mean, I feel like in a way I could have done a better job than what we were given. I'll admit, maybe this one star is for like the beginning. I really like that beginning with um, Corey and the kid, him babysitting, and then that whole situation happened because I did not see that coming. And uh, and I felt like what would have made sense is, you know, how they were talking about, oh, the boogie, the kid was making fun of Corey saying, oh, you're afraid of the boogeyman, da da da. And the mom was telling Corey how their son would wet the bed because of stories about the boogeyman and stuff. I think what would have been more like conducive, conclusive, I, I forgot the word, um, what would have made more sense is if they had, if the the boy still played the prank right, but up in the attic, what you call it, Michael Myers was up in there. I don't know how and what way, like maybe after Halloween kills, right, after he killed Lloyd Strode's daughter, he of course had to leave the house because the police and stuff was still there. And he snuck inside that kid's house, that family's home, and was in the basement. So when he, when Corey was freaking out trying to like open the door, it's like, oh shoot, Michael was right in the room with him. And then the door would have popped open, hit the kid, and then what happened happened. And I don't know, I feel like it would have made more sense if Michael was like there, but everything else in this film like even the kills weren't even all that great maybe the only one was when Corey took the it's not a flamethrower but that you know that tool you use to like mesh metal together and he sprayed it down that one kid's mouth down his throat I think that was like really the only interesting kill oh a burp is coming but it's not coming out other than that, everybody else was just kind of below par because Halloween Kills, Michael was going all out. And then I really don't like how they sidelined Michael Myers in his own movie to focus on this new character. There was no need for a Corey when Allison had a previous relationship in the second film. And it seemed like they were kind of like slowly getting back together because I think in 
the first Halloween film, the 2018, they kind of, he did something at the Halloween party and like she kind of like broke up with him. Like, didn't he throw her phone in the pudding or something? So they kind of like broke up somewhat at the end, but then in the previous film, they kind of got back together. So I feel like there was no, until Michael killed her, but I feel like there was no need to bring a new love interest to Allison. And I don't like how Allison all of a sudden, for a guy, she switched up her whole personality. She was willing to leave town with him. And you just met this dude a few days ago. You were so quick to switch on your grandmother. And I understand, and I said it throughout the reaction, it was like in the, um, in the first Halloween film, her mom and Allison was like, oh, the grandmother's crazy. You know, she believes Michael's gonna get up. Like, all of this stuff. And she ended up being right. So I don't understand why Allison wouldn't believe her a second time. Like, there's something off about Corey. I don't want you seeing him. And you're like, whatever, grandma. Like, I'm not gonna believe you, even though you were right a pre the few previous times. Ooh, something's in my eye. So I don't like how Allison's character in this um, film, how it went, how she just rather be team Corey than be team uh Lori her own grandmother oh something is in my eye I don't like how they focus a lot of this movie around Corey and Allison and their quick as heck relationship of them getting together Allison has no red flag indicator she has not no woman's intuition nothing because she was just so quick oh i know it was an accident that you killed the kid i'm still gonna want to like get my camera cut off but i'm good now um allison had no awareness skills none whatsoever um okay i had a very like i don't want to say trigger moment but um a moment where i was just like oh you know wanting to fight was the four march the, the fact that they were marching band but like honestly anybody's capable of bullying other people but Corey, you are what three four years older than them and you couldn't like fight back but i understand at the same time if he were to fight back that just confirms what their already preconceived notion of how they see him oh he's a uh the baby sitter ba baby sitter killer etc etc but you gotta have some sort of backbone and it only took you seeing or being choked out by michael for you to grow a backbone but again it bothers me when i see in movies and i understand like this probably happens in real life too where kids bully others right and they they just cannot understand at any point whoever they're bullying could snap okay now i'm not giving a pass to when th that happens when a kid snaps and goes off because in real life there are I, I i don't think i could say it, but i hope you guys you know so um and then even in those instances it's not only because a kid got picked on it's other factors as well but getting back to what i'm trying to say is just you cannot expect like you wasn't gonna get hit back punch back or like any sort of consequences for constantly picking on somebody and I just can't stand it when it's like okay what were your intentions you you pushing somebody you putting somebody in a, a chokehold you you cutting them up like the um Ben and freaking it chapter one you're doing all this stuff and then you expect nothing to happen or if you push them and they like seriously broke their nose or they broke their arm or foot or they ended up dying. Oh my God, like what did you do? What, what were your intentions for physically putting your hands on somebody? You, you didn't think they weren't going to get hurt? So that's what really bothers me. Like bullies just be doing the most. And there's this um series on Netflix called The Glory. It's um a Korean show. I watched it because some woman on TikTok recommended it. And they took bullying. It was far worse than what we've seen in this and what we've seen in It Chapter 1. They took bullying to a whole new level because the girl they were picking on, they could have killed her. They they crossed them. If there was a line, they they freaking... um. I don't know they leaped like superman over that line because they really took bullying to a whole new level 
um it's on netflix and it's on um, part there's two parts part one already came out but in march part two is gonna come out so you know just throwing in a little recommendation but yeah that's my wrap up on kids kids that bully and again most of the time this stuff happens at home and they take their anger out on other kids that they feel they can um they feel like they see them weaker than them so that's why they pick on them so you know da -da -da. i could do a whole video talking about my thoughts on bullying okay why is everybody blaming Lori for the actions of someone who's not all there? Who is an evil person who just went throughout all his years killing people? Why are you blaming Lori? It's like I don't quite understand why they do because they make it seem like she is the cause of everything. But uh, okay, let me think about this one because and I'm and I'm trying to get all the facts from the 1978 Halloween and then they disregarded all the other Halloween films and then we got the 2018 the one that came out in 2019 right and then this one so Lori was babysitting Michael showed up and that was uh an experience that will stay with you right she's older and she's been preparing but I don't understand because if well I can't everybody's different because if it was me and i was babysitting and i went through the same situation she did i think i would be a bit paranoid but not for as long as she was paranoid like she was paranoid for 40 years that's a long time maybe for me it would be like a good three to five years but eventually i would be like okay like he's in prison there's no way he could get to me and i would have moved to a different state and lived a whole different life and i think with Lori. Well, not I think I know because they showed us. She has harbored that moment in time and took it and carried it with her for the all of her life that she like Fort Knox, her home, got all these guns. You know, she was ready because deep down she I just feel like deep down she and I think I said it in my reaction, she kind of low key wanted him to come out um to escape so she can get rid of him once and for all because you know he got away from her perspective of that night and that incident he got away oh wait but then they okay they found him and then they um put him in that institution so but it's like I, I don't understand why they really blame her because it's not like she went on TV and was like, Michael, if you've seen this, come get me. Come, I'm right here. This is where I live. Come get me. She wasn't like that. But at the same time, maybe I could see why all the other victims or people who have family members or were directly affected due to the incidents, incidences that happened in Halloween and Halloween Kills would kind of see Lori like, you somewhat did kind of cause all of this to happen. You did kind of provoke him. So, um, but I don't think I would necessarily blame her. Yeah, because I'm, I'm just really trying to think in um, the previous films. Like, was there anything she said or did that really seemed like she was trying to provoke Michael? I don't think so. I'm going to have to like rewatch the previous two films. All right, I'm going to wrap this up because I don't want this to be way too long. Um... Yeah, I don't like the fact that Michael was barely in this movie. I don't like the character Corey. I I feel like I could kind of see it a little bit why he was in this film for the fact that not only for the obvious sake of trying to create a new Michael Myers, but what happens when someone who did a bad thing and it was a, a, on accident put him in a town where bad things were already happening and it's like they're taking their frustration out on him because like they said throughout this movie um you know the boogeyman was no longer around so now they got a new boogeyman so to speak to kind of like pick on and take their anger and frustration out so what happens to someone like that where people every time they see you they keep bringing up what you did which was an accident even though it was very whoo that that scene that when that little boy oh lord even though that was so like bad and very tragic like what how would that person turn out to be but i feel like in a way it's not enough to me they just they just thrust this whole okay all of a sudden i'm gonna be like the new michael myers now and 
I don't like the fact that Michael was somewhat semi teaming up with him. That to me that was weird. And again, how you gonna pull up on Michael Myers and take his mask? Okay, what else? Uh, I said Allison was codependent. Yeah, like I don't like how they trashed Allison's character development in this movie. You know, I would think she would be even more closed off because Michael Myers got her mom. So I would think she wouldn't even be in the space, even though this is a few years later, she still wouldn't be in that space to want to be with somebody because the last time she was with somebody, what happened? Michael, you know, literally turned his whole head around, did a whole uh, 180. So yeah, and then her arguing with Lori, like you doing all this over a man. Okay. I really, for I, I, I'll admit, for a moment, I really thought Lori was gonna um, self-delete, but she was only doing that because she knew someone was in the house. I don't think she knew, or no, she knew it was Corey. She did not know Michael was gonna pull up. How did I feel about that final, this is the last thing I'm talking about. How did I feel about that final showdown between Lori and Michael? I thought it was gonna be a bit more gruesome, gruesome if I'm gonna be honest. I thought he was gonna really bang her up, but... I mean, it, it was all right. It was entertaining to watch. And then she was like, do it. Do it. You know, I really thought they were both going to go out. But it was just Michael. And if you ask me, I just feel if you're going to take out Michael Myers, I don't know. I just didn't think he would go out in this way. I don't know how I would want him to go out. But I don't, like, it makes sense that Lori was the one to take him out. But the way it happened is what I'm more so like on the fence about. And yeah, that's basically it. So those are all of my thoughts. I'm pretty sure other ones are gonna come along once I cut the camera off, but I think I got most of what I wanted to say. Ooh, ooh sorry, hold on one moment. So again, if you wanna check it out, well, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have already seen the film, but if you didn't, if you have Amazon Prime, it is currently on Amazon Prime. Um, again, a solid one. I'm being very generous, again, with this one out of five. Um, and the reason why is because of that first, like, ten minutes of the film with, um, the whole babysitting and then the little boy. He kicked that door so hard and he said, boop. And then I just heard his, the little boy's voice. And I'm like, what's happening? And he fell. I thought he was gonna fall down the stairs, but he, woo. But... That was my reaction. Give it a thumbs up if you happen to like it. Subscribe down below if you're new. If you made it to this particular point, leave, I want to say a yellow heart. A yellow heart because yellow means happiness. Bye, guys.